Hey friends all over the world. Sorry, I'm in front of the screen so my eyes are a little bit red. But I, I, I gotta tell you something. Listen, man, I gotta tell you something. I don't, I don't wanna be uh, too long and drawn out on this, but I just gotta, I gotta tell you something. It's about to be worth it. It's about to be worth it. See, if you knew what was on the other side of the thing you're struggling with, if you knew what was on the other side of the difficulty, if you knew what was on the other side of the trial, there was, there's no way you would turn back now. If you knew what was on the other side of this thing, whatever this thing is, you would understand it's about to be worth it. You say worth what? All the hell that you've been through over the last six months. All the hell that you faced this year all the trials, the tests, the challenges, the difficulties. My friend, it's about to be worth it. <laughs> you, you are on the brink of the greatest breakthrough you have ever experienced in your life. That's why, that's why what you need to do right now is not complain not be angry, not be upset, not be bitter, not be frustrated. What you need to do if you really knew what's on the other side of this, you need to give God praise. Stop complaining. Just say thank you. Lord, I thank you for what I don't even see. Lord, I thank you for the things that are so beyond. You know, for, uh, Ephesians 3.20 says, now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you can dare ask or think according to the power that works in us. Far beyond. I want to tell you a quick story and then I'm going to get off of here and, and get ready for an awesome Sunday service tomorrow. But I got to just tell you something. I hope you'll, hope, hope, hope you'll, hope you'll catch it. I can remember going through one of the worst seasons of my life. I'm talking about this was one of the worst seasons and I just wanted it to be over. I just, I just wanted, I wasn't asking God to bless me. I wouldn't ask God anything. I was asking God to allow me to survive this. It was that bad. I don't know if you've ever been, been, been there. I wasn't asking God. I was asking God to survive the trial, not even overcome it. I was like, Lord, I want to be alive after this is done. I said, Lord, please just let me survive this. I was, I was in survival mode. I was literally in survival mode. I wasn't trying to get a, a, a breakthrough. I was like, Lord, let me survive this. And God, I was praying. I was going through all these prayers, deliverance prayers, and, 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 and calling down fire from heaven and doing all this and doing all that. And I was going on and on and on and on. And I kept coming against the, the demons and the coming against the attack and coming against this and coming against that. And I realized something. I realized something in the midst of that. This, I, I don't know if I can even give you this. I don't know if you're ready to even hear what I'm about to say, honestly. I'm not trying to be funny. I don't think you even know or you're ready for this. Hear this. This is the profound part of all this. What I was trying to survive was actually the very impetus in getting me to the place called beyond.
God was ushering in a whole new level into my life. God was ushering me into a whole new dimension and I didn't even realize it. I thought I was just trying to survive a trial, but God was using the very thing that, that was, was difficult and challenging as a doorway into a greater dimension of who he is and a greater manifestation of his promises for my life. I can't even explain. I'm trying to articulate this to you that, that I was saying, okay, I was, I was like, Lord, let me make it through this. And God was saying, I'm about to open up doors for you. When I went through that season and there were people that walked away, everybody that walked away needed to be gone. That's number one. And number two, it ushered me into the greatest level and season of blessing that I had ever experienced in my life. It ushered me into the greatest season of blessing I had ever experienced in my life. That very thing I'm trying to survive and saying, God, please let me get through this. God will say, not only are you going to get through this, but you are about to experience an even greater manifestation of my purpose, of my destiny for your life, of my will for your life, of my miraculous provision for your life. In the name of Jesus. Some of you, if you knew... If you knew what was on the other side, you would start shouting and rejoicing right now. You would stop crying. You would stop feeling like you're alone and, 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 and desolate and destitute. And you would realize that this is, I'm telling you, you would realize that this is one of the greatest seasons in your life. You say, but pastor, but I lost a loved one. Or pastor, I, 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 I don't understand. I got a negative diagnosis. I don't care what the doctor says. I don't care what it's looking like in the natural. I'm telling you that this is a prophetic word for your life. A prophetic word for your life. What if Joseph knew that in 24 hours he was going to be the most powerful person in Egypt beside Pharaoh? What if Joseph knew You say, well, but pastor, but I've gone through hell. Well, guess what? If you've gone through death, if you're being crucified, if you've gone through hell, that means there's a resurrection. And if there's a resurrection, there is an exaltation. If you only knew, if you only knew, if you only knew, you are entering into the greatest season of your life. It's about to blow your mind what's on the other side of this. The things you've been praying for, the things you've been believing God for, and, you, and that's why you've been under attack. That's why it's been challenging. That's why. That's why. But guess what? It's about to be worth it. 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 You're going to say, that's why. That's why. I was ready to quit. And that's why I had to go through this. Do me a favor. Number one, like. Subscribe to the page if you haven't. And share this. And number two, sow into this. God bless you. And remember, Jesus is Lord.